Today's topic is osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a bone disease that is characterized by low bone mass and loss of bone tissue, decreasing its strength and resulting in a weak and brittle bone. Osteoporosis causes bones to be so weak and fragile, such that the bone breaks or fractures while doing routine activities such as standing or walking, or even mild stresses such as bending over or coughing. The most common bones that are affected by osteoporosis-related fractures are the ribs, hips, and the bones in the wrist and spine, although it can occur in any skeletal bone. Osteoporosis affects women and men of all races, but it is more prevalent in white and Asian women, especially those who are past menopause. The condition becomes more common with age and is more common in women than in men. In the European Union in 2010, about 22 million women and 5.5 million men suffered from osteoporosis. Causes The bones are in a constant state of renewal, and new bones replace old damaged bones. In this way, the body maintains bone density and the integrity of its structure. Bone mass peaks when a person is in their late 20s, and it is important to build strong bones at this stage so the bones can remain strong later in life. This will as we age, bone starts to become weaker, and the bone breaks down faster than it builds, decreasing bone mass. Unlike at a younger age, when the body makes new bones faster, then it breaks down old bone, increasing bone mass. The amount of bone mass attained in your youth will determine your risk of getting the condition. Your risk may be low if a higher bone mass peak was attained. Certain factors can increase your risk of getting the condition may include some unavoidable factors include age, ethnicity or race, sex, body frame size, family history, hormone levels. This may include reduction of estrogen level in women at menopause is one of the strongest risk factors. Prostate cancer treatment in men and breast cancer in women can accelerate bone loss. Hyperthyroidism. Too much thyroid hormone can cause bone loss. Dietary factors and lifestyle choices, such as low calcium intake, an eating disorder such as anorexia or bulimia nervosa, excessive alcohol intake, inactivity or too little exercise, tobacco use, medical conditions such as cancer, lupus, celiac disease, inflammatory bowel disease, kidney disease, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple myelomas, medications such as chemotherapy, anti-seizure medications, glucocorticosteroids, proton pump inhibitors, serotonin reuptake inhibitors, symptoms, a backache caused by a collapsed or fractured vertebrae, gradual loss of height and accompanying stooped posture, a bone fracture that occurs more easily, diagnosis and treatment, in making the diagnosis, the doctor will review your family history and possible risk factor. If osteoporosis is suspected, a scan to measure bone mineral density is ordered. The bone density is measured by an instrument that uses low levels of x-ray to determine the proportion of mineral in the bones. This type of x-ray technology is known as dual energy x-ray absorptiometry, DEXA. It can also be used to monitor response to treatment. A blood test can also be used to detect any underlying cause. Treatment. Treatment option aims at slowing down or preventing the development of the condition, maintaining healthy BMD, preventing fractures, and maximizing the person's ability to continue with their daily life. The most prescribed medications are bisosphonate. They are used to prevent the loss of bone mass and may include Elendronate, Posamax, Ibandronate, Boniva, and zoledronic acid, reclast. Hormone-related therapy, especially in women, raloxifene, Avista, has been found to provide the benefits of estrogen without too much risk. Other medications such as denosumab, prolia, teriparatide, forteo, may be suggested by your doctor if you can tolerate the common treatment. Lifestyle changes such as smoking cessation, avoiding excessive alcohol, and maintaining an appropriate diet that includes calcium and vitamin D, may help to strengthen the bone and promote healthy bone health. 
Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.